Hi guys, this is Laurel. Um, it's graduation season, at least in the United States, and I threw these two cards together quickly for a couple of my nieces, and I wanted to show you how easy it was in case you needed to do it for yourself. So I'm using this digital kit called Leaving the Nest Graduation Day by Tracy Reed. I will link that for you. And then here are my uh, traditional paper supplies, which I will list in the description bar. So I, using the shape tool, I created um, an, uh, these four green boxes with the dimensions I had on the screen. And now I'm going to take my uh, one of the papers in the kit, and it's black, and I'm going to recolorize it to um, brown by hitting Control U and then choosing a color from the color picker. So this will match my niece's school colors. And then I'm going to take that rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to cut out a piece of that paper and I'm going to drag it down onto my 8.5 by 11 paper. And since that came in behind, I'm going to go to Layer, Arrange, and Bring to Front. And that will bring that in. And so I'm after this, I'm going to make a copy of this. Um, I'll put the instructions by pushing Alt and Shift and I've, I'm able to copy that exact same piece, another one identical to it, and move it. And so I'm going to clip those into the rectangles that are there over. I'm going to move them over those individual rectangles in the layer stack, and I'm going to clip each one into their individual rectangles by doing um, Command or Control and G. And that, there's, sorry, that was a quick glimpse of that, the mortarboard paper I'm going to use, which I'm also going to recolorize using the same method. And then um, I'm going to clip those in to those rectangles using the, what I just did with the, um, the other graduation paper. And I'm taking this gold paper that has, hor not horizontal, sorry, diagonal um, shimmery stripes. And I'm, what I'm going to do is create another rectangular clipping mask that leaves about an inch around each side. And I'm going to put those on each one of those um, papers that I clipped in and I'm going to clip the gold paper into the smaller ones to create uh, another mat for um, the main part of the main decoration of the card. So um, there's what they look like with those uh, smaller clipping masks and that's where we're going to put the embellishments. And so these I've also recolored to match the brown and gold theme. And so I've brought in this large brown flower and the little um, tag or banner and then I am going to put one of those, it's more like a, a silver, a little silver flower on each one of those and move those into position. And I'm going to repeat that process with the upper one, the upper card so they look identical. And then um, what, I'm, what I decided to do with the, with the um, card fronts on the left was I, um, I wanted to bring in some balloons. They had these cute little balloons in the kit. so. What I'm going to do with these, I, I'm, what I'm just doing now is just fixing the position of all those little elements on the card fronts on the right. So what I'm going to bring in now first before the balloons is this little banner and it says congratulations instead of congratulations, which I thought was really cute. And what I'm going to do eventually here is I'm going to do edit and stroke and I'm going to put a little banner around, a little outline around there. At first I made it white, but it was kind of hard to see and it was getting lost. So eventually you'll see me, I'm going to recolor that little banner to, to a brown color. And then um, here's those little balloons I talked about. I'm going to bring in the black and the white one. And I'm going to recolor those using a similar method um, by colorizing them so that they have a brown color instead of a black one. And at first I thought I was going to use two or three, but I thought that was just too much. So I went ahead and just used the white one, and then I brought in this silver burst, which I thought was cool looking. But um, I thought it was it was just too busy and too because we already have sparkles behind there. So what I'm going to do eventually here in a minute, you'll see, is I'm going to um, recolor that brown so it matches the brown in the card, but it had kind of a reddish tint. So I went over to the layer stack, and that opacity slider on the right, I slid it to about 47%. So now it kind of it just looks more like a a little see-through burst behind the balloon that adds a nice pop but doesn't compete with anything. So now we're going to print the cards, the card fronts, which I did using my printer. I've cut them out and now I'm going to put them on my two card bases. So what I'm going to do is take my rusty hinge distress ink and I'm just going to 
Without being very fancy, I'm just going to run the ink over the edges of the card, just like that. And the white paper is an American Crafts, the white textured cardstock, and then um, the other one I'll have to give you a link to it, the craft one. It's, it's just one I found at my local craft store. So now what I'm just going to do is those nice um, card fronts that I made. I'm just going to get ready to adhere those on. So I've got some photo squares here that I'm using to, <clears throat> to put those card fronts on. I've sped up the, the film a little bit so that we, it's not so monotonous for you to sit here and watch me assemble these. But anyways, what I'm going to do now is just, I, I'm just going to look at it and I'll reposition it a few times until I get the cards positioned on the, um, the card bases the way that I like them. I'm going to do that with both cards. And I just wanted to let you know that if you don't like these colors or they don't match the color of the university or high school that your student you're congratulating is going to, you can use the same process to recolorize that I did. And in most cases, it'll work. You just have to find some colors in the color picker that are similar and to recolor it the way you need to it. So I just had this, this gingham ribbon in my stash, and I'm just, I'm just going to... Um, work with the bows and the tails of the bow to make sure that it looks neat and this left side of the bow the tail and the bow the loop itself were they had this wrinkle and this this kink in it and I'll I'll show you later in a little bit what I'm going to do to make that so it's not so obvious so I'm just trimming the tails of my ribbon now and I'm going to get <clears throat> I just like to put things after I adjust the bow I just like to put my um my ribbon down there to see where I want to stick it before I Go ahead and commit to gluing that down because I, I just think it's easier and less scary that way. I eventually switched over to using my glue dots. That that pink dispenser over there I just found. It's my glue dots dispenser and it's really, really cool. I love using it. You'll see me using it here. Yeah, you can see me trying to fiddle with that ball and it's crooked, so I'll have to fix it later. And with this one, I just took some ivory colored double loop trim. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it here to see about how much I need, and then I'll trim it. And then this is a little bit tricky and a little bit of a pain, but I just take those glue dots and I just put them on the back of my ribbon one at a time, <clears throat> here and there, space one at a time here and there along the back of that ribbon so it sticks. And you really, if you, um, if you get it back there and get them stuck on, you really, you can't see them once it's done. So I'm just going to keep doing that, this whole process. And I didn't, I didn't show you doing all of it, me doing all of it, I just kind of showed you, I'm just going to show you um, pieces and parts of me doing that because it's kind of slow and tedious. That one was a little long so I just trimmed the end. And now I'm going to repeat the process with another, um, with another uh, section of that double looped trim that looks really nice. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around each side of the card. And so you can see I've turned it upside down here so I can get that piece that's supposed to go on the top to look nice and neat and straight. And there's that one. So anyways, guys, I hope you like these cards. We're just about done here. Um, this will give you a good look at the fronts. Now what I'm going to do is just add some pearls to the one that says congratulations. These are... Called, this is from the company that's called Crystal Stickers by Mark Richards. And so I'm just adding some, some of these larger pearls at the bottom. And what you'll just see here is it's because they're so small, sometimes it's hard to get them in the right spot. So I'm, what I'm just doing here is I just eyeball it and I look at how they're sitting on the page. And if I don't like something, I'll just nudge it over with my finger like I'm doing with my thumb right there so they look nice and neat and straight. And then I'm just going to take some slightly smaller pearls from that exact same company, the crystal stickers, and I'm going to put it um, a small pearl on each side of this congratulations banner. And that should just about finish up that card. Looks pretty good. But yeah, that bow is still bugging me a little bit. So anyways, with the other card with the mortar boards, I grabbed some of these sprinkles by... Um, Doodlebug design, they're kind of like just little white enamel dots. But what I'm doing is just I'm going to put them around the card. Um, some of them are going to be kind of randomly sprinkled because I wanted to put it, I like to have an odd number of those dots to make it look easier on the eye. And so you can see what I'm doing here since that bow is bugging me. I'm going to put a glue dot on the bottom of the tail on that, on that 
side and then I'm going to do the same thing with that loop that's bending up and looking kind of goofy. Just going to stick a glue dot up there because it'll look so much better. All right, guys. In a minute here, I'll show you the, what the finished cards look like, both laying down on my table and um, standing up. Um, you can check out my blog for, um, for, um, for pictures and for more detailed information. And in the meantime, I hope you guys like these and will give these a try if you have someone graduating. Okay, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later.